Hey everybody, this is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity and Burger Bell. And I wanted to fix something today. Very short video. Something that's been bothering me for a really, really, really long time. And this is it. Here is my mirror. It does not stay no matter what I do. There was a plastic internal piece that broke and now it just swings around. So whenever I'm driving, I have to put my hand on it and push it around so I can see where people are. So, I ordered some Amazon mirrors and here they are. If you look, it says LTC. Obviously this is a generic part and they just printed a sticker and stuck it on top. But, they're kind of the same as this but maybe a little bit shorter on the bottom. If you open it, there they are. All right, let's go ahead and install this after the intro. So first things first, let's go ahead and remove this old one. Probably don't need an impact, but... Oh, yeah, it makes it easier. There we go. See, it's a threaded inside but the inside is plastic. And this plastic piece right here stripped with this. So it stopped grabbing. So we're gonna find a way to pull this out. Use some trusty old pliers. If I can get a grip on it. Okay, let's do this. There you go. There's the piece that was stuck on the inside and it stripped and it was unable to grip anymore. Let's go ahead and take out the new one. So in the end, it's supposed to look like this. Now look, and this is all recommended by my buddy Buzzy that you get a, a metal internal piece, all right? We also had a subscriber who bought one, but she bought the aluminum handlebars and this was thick, so this wouldn't fit in. So, let's go ahead and install. That didn't come out right. I thought it was gonna go all the way in. Apparently I'm wrong. Okay, well, <laughs> this part has to go all the way down for that to be flush, so. And then I just hammered all this together, so great. So this is too thick for the hole, so I guess I'm gonna have to sand this down. It'd be easier than sanding the inside of the bar. So let me do that real quick and I'll be right back. So here's my solution. I got this stuck on this bit down here. And then I will rotate it and kind of lay it down a little bit. And then do this over and over, and then test. All right, I got it filed duff down with the makeshift lathe, and I should be able to put this in now. A little bit of bumping, and I should be able to get it in there. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, it still didn't fit, so I gotta grind down some more. This is kind of a pain in the butt. You'd imagine this would fit off the bat.
I got to go ahead and tighten this down. Okay, not too much. Buckle this over. Put the set, which it's very unfortunate that the bottom of the mirror lines up right where you would put a tool. That kind of sucks. Yeah, be careful, you might break the glass now. Let me get an extension. And this is not a... Behind me. Tighten it the rest of the way down. I need to tighten this up some more. Got to split those aluminum pieces so that they grip on the inside, but I don't want to strip it, so there you go. That's good. Yeah, I like the way it looks. And most importantly, it does not wiggle around. Note, Whenever you buy these, the inside is supposed to fit generally, but they're generic. So you might have to file the inside of your bar down, which is probably super hard, or you can just find a way to lathe the piece, the metal piece on the inside, so that it'll fit. Um, it does still stick out a little bit, but since this is a clamp, I covered that part, and uh, it looks good. Um, people are probably asking, am I going to do the other side? Uh, the answer is no. I'm going to keep it with one mirror and that's going to be my spare just in case I drop it and fall or if I get another ruckus. Um, chances are I may put it on the Lifon uh, because the Lifon is also a single mirror bike because, well, I broke the other one when I fell. And I like this because it's on the inside. It doesn't stick out too far. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll leave a link for this uh, thing below. Uh, keep in mind, this is the JDM password or password JDM handlebars. So if you do have those bars and this, you'll have to, to do a little bit of uh, work to get it to, to fit. But in the end, it's pretty solid. And in Texas, it is the law. Anyways, obey the law. And thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Hope you guys enjoyed this small video about something that's very minuscule but probably helpful to somebody. Anyways, have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video.